Jim's here to talk about the start of a week where we're going to see some changes. We sure are. Temperatures will be uh, up and down a little bit this week, and I have a great new way to show you how up and down they will be. This is a, a new chart. It's a new feature we call Personal Microcast on KXAN.com, and you can't help but find it if you go to our main uh, website. Uh, it's the first thing you'll see on the weather page right there, the 24-hour graph. And you now have the ability... Uh, to be very interactive with the weather forecast. In fact, hour by hour. You want to know what it's going to be like, let's say, uh, Tuesday morning at 11 a.m.? Well, there it is. You want more detail than that? Click on that button. You'll get all the weather data you want to know about and a little summary of the weather that's taking place at that time. Notice how the sky condition will change down there. Well, it would if there were any clouds as you go hour by hour. There are some clouds right there. If it's raining, you'll see that uh, actually falling there from the sky. There are a lot of neat features on it. You have the ability to, to choose what weather data you want from temperature to the feels like reading to the dew point to the humidity to the winds. And I'm going to be demonstrating more of those from you this week. But you can play with it yourself. Go to KXAN. Com, and it's the main uh, thing you'll see on the main weather page, all right? I love it. I think you're going to love it, too. We're not seeing much tonight from our tower camera. Uh, light fog is forming. There's some moisture in the air, and so we can't even really make out downtown. We're just seeing the adjacent uh, broadcast towers out there over Westlake Hills tonight with their lights flashing in 54 degrees currently. Skies are actually clear, but that light fog uh, is obscuring the visibility just a little bit, down to about a four-mile reading visibility-wise at the airport right now. By morning, we're at 46 degrees. By noon, 60, and 68 tomorrow afternoon with plenty of sun. Right now around the area, it's not too chilly. Uh, low and mid-50s in most locations, 59 degrees, one of the warmer readings in Lano. We have light fog at Camp Mabry. It's 54 here in Austin, 90% humidity. Uh, light fog at the airport in 51, 96% relative humidity. So that fog may thicken up a little bit as this front comes in. It's not here yet. We have a calm wind in the city, a southwest wind at 3 miles per hour out at the airport. A uh, mole count high today. Our allergy forecast for Tuesday probably still be high one more day, and then we'll trend down a little bit midweek. There's the cooler weather. Look at those 30s up there in the panhandle. 47 degrees in Abilene. The front has actually moved through Lano County in the last hour. Winds are gusting out of the north over 30 miles per hour in Lano. And you can see the upper level storm system right there that's helped to bring that cooler weather down into the area tonight. Generating a big storm in the south that'll be moving up the east coast. So if you're flying on business tomorrow, maybe out to the east, uh, you might want to check ahead. There could be some travel delays. It's not going to be a huge storm, but it could cause some slowdowns. After this moves by, though, tonight, quiet weather pattern the rest of the week. In fact, a southwest flow will set up uh, by the weekend as surface high pressure moves off into the Gulf. That'll give us a warmer, southerly, moist flow by the weekend. But I think this coming Saturday and Sunday, this coming weekend, will be the warmest two days of this whole week. And this week won't be bad. We will have chilly mornings, that's for sure, but pretty mild afternoons all week long. And as you saw there in the future weather model, the clouds clear out first thing in the morning when it will be pretty chilly. 40s area-wide, some 30s in the hill country in the morning, and then tomorrow afternoon, high should stay just a little below average into the 60s. Tonight, clouds in the sky, uh, 46 degrees, low clouds and light fog, 46 the low, with northwest winds breezy tomorrow behind the front, 68, look for the clouds to be clearing. And here's a seven-day forecast. Let's go 72 on Wednesday. A uh, little weak front drops us just a little bit on Thursday. Look at those chilly mornings, though. 42 Wednesday, Thursday, 39 a Friday morning. And then how about that weekend? Back in the mid to upper 70s. Our next chance of rain, not till a week from today. Make sure you're here in the morning to see how cold it is before you head off to work or school where you live. We'll bring you the weather and traffic together beginning at 5 a.m.